Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a minute or two since I put out a video, and a couple reasons are I just didn't have the energy. And the other one is I wanted to, wanted to try something different. And that is to try to come up with some kind of training aid that might help dice influencers, dice controllers, whatever. And so I started watching some other sports and how they try to make it um, more on, of a mechanical or uh, something you can practice to uh, make your tosses a little bit better. You know, I mean, everyone has got their own idiosyncrasies of what's needed to be done. And if you watch Golden Touch Craps, they, you know, their fundamentals of the toss and everything are exceptional. But everybody learns different ways. And so I thought I would try to um, come up with something. So I, anyway, I started to watch... Uh, some training aids that are on YouTube about uh, pool, uh, snooker, and darts, and um, there's a thing called uh, for snooker called the balls, and it's uh, a training aid that uh, basically uses lighter than normal weighted balls on the pool table to help with aiming and um, directional control, okay? And also, they also had another one that is called Sight Right that helps, that, uh, helps with lining up your shot correctly. Anyway, all these things uh, started me thinking about dice and the standard size and weight of dice. I have a friend with a 3D printer. So I wanted to see if I could come up with some kind of idea. Here's uh, two dice of the bigger size, the 0.775 dice. I don't know if, if if, um, so they weigh 19 grams for the pair, okay? Now I'll try to bring this up to the, this probably won't work because it's not on a uh, hard surface, but can anybody see that? By the way I tilt it or whatever. Anyway. 19 grams is the weight of one pair of dice. There are also 19 millimeters uh, size. I would had my friend try to duplicate that as close as possible, but I wanted to make my dice with one side heavier than all the other sides. And then also to, instead of putting numbers on it, I don't care about numbers with this training aid. I want to make sure, I want to try to see if I can get the dice to uh, rotate in the air, land on axis. So I, on this black set of dice, I... The stripe is my one side of die that's heavier than the others. Then I marked the other three sides with dots. And as you can see, on the axis is blank. Okay? Now, on this set of dice, the weight is 7 grams. So we're just a little over 
one third of the weight. Okay? Seven grams for this set. My friend made another set, like a, a half a millimeter thinner, and they're the white dice. And what I did was he was able to make the black side here. That's my heavy side. And then I marked a stripe on the other three sides. And the remaining two sides are the axis sides. They weigh... seven grams also. That's weird because yesterday it was like six. So we're in that same vicinity. So you have one side of the die heavier than the other sides. You have um, the idea is that if you are grab a three-fingered grip and you toss and let go. Hopefully the dice will be heavy on one side. They'll land. You'll and all I really care about is whether they're on axis or not. I'm going to do 64 th or no, 72 throws. We're going to use a green chip to mark if both dice are on axis, so on axis is with a stripe or a black mark here, okay? A black chip is with one die on axis, one die off. Red is with both die off axis. And if I use the black dice, the stripe is on axis and all the dots are on axis and the ones without any markings are off axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw two sets of the, these two dot sets at a time so to try to cut down the time and then we'll see what we got. Okay so let's get started. Hopefully this doesn't uh, last too long. But we're going to see what it, if I haven't tested it out. So you're seeing it as I'm seeing it. Okay, dice are out. This is assuming that you're using like a hard way set. Okay, it's one on, one off. So that's a black chip. Whoops, I said I was going to do two dice at the, before I collect. So let's do our pair of white dice. One on, one off. It's another black chip. I hope everybody's following along, but if not, I think you'll understand what what we're trying to do. If not, I would I would just say go check out uh, some training aids on snooker or darts and things like that and see what you think. I'd like to know your feedback on whether you think this is using a lighter pair of dice to try to uh, see if the dice are traveling together when they're out of the hand. If they're following the line that's intended. Which I am going to get a laser pointer um, or a laser line it's going to create a line from where my hand is down the table and then against the back wall. So that's another black chip.
And, uh, but the idea is to see with a pair of lighter dice if you can hit your landing spot and follow the dice as they go down. Now I realize that the uh, camera angle might not be right for all this and we'll try to do a couple of different angles as we go along with this series of videos. Um, but that'll come as, as we get a little bit better. But right now, I just want to see, I can see whether they're traveling in the intended line and whether they're together. You see the, the results of the landing. And uh, But we will do this from a couple different angles so you can see what happens, you know, with um, the dice, you know, as they leave your hand, as they travel and land. But I hope it makes sense. Please let me know. If uh, if it does or not, I've tried uh, gluing the dice together like a regular pair of dice to see if my release is even. And there's times when it is and times when it isn't, but it does provide some good feedback on your release and everything. So there was a, the white die that both are on axis. One on, one off there. So we have the white with the green with both on, one on, one off. And just out of, maybe all you math geniuses might be able to tell me what should be, be my expected rate of uh, landing uh, with both dice on axis, both dice off axis, or one on, one off. What are the percentages? For me, I would think that you have 12 sides of dice with two die. You have four sides off axis. So that would be one third. You would think that one third of the time of your tosses, you would have both die off. Okay, so on this pair we had two black chips for one on, one off. This was to help you, especially if you, once you get to seeing whether you like the way the dice are traveling through the air and, and landing on your intended landing zone. What, uh, what dice set would you use? You know, if it's a hard way or a 3V or any other set. This would help you try to pick out some numbers, possibly. So for those two throws, both of the dice, or both of the sets of dice, 
both were on axis. So we got two green chips. Okay, dice are out, and this would help you, you know, if you felt that you, like, uh, you could go to a hard way set if you were double pitching or not, this would help you. Okay, so we have, both are on axis, on that one. Both on there also. Now this is kind of... So we have two green chips. This would say, this one would tell me that they're both on axis on this and on axis on this, but we had a... One of them could have been double pitched or single pitched, but the... So that would be something that you would try to find out with a regular set of dice or you could make up your own own set like this and um, do a uh, like a stripe on two sides and dots on two sides you know for on axis or whatever I just wanted to try to make sure that one side was heavier than all the other sides So I could see the results in um, from my release whether the dice would be rotating together or not. So on this one both of them ended up with one on axis, one off axis, so that's two black chips. I have yet to throw two of them off axis. Now if you realize that you're throwing the majority of them on axis, that's great. What set are you going to use? Or, if you have one on, one off, and you throw a hard way set, you'll never hit a seven, right? There's another one on, one off. Another one, one on, one off. So that's two more black chips. And just to illustrate what I'm talking about, is if you have a pair of dice and you have a hard way set, let's just say it's a 5-3, five, 5-3. Three, five, three. So your ones and sixes are off axis. As you toss the dice, if either one of these goes off, just one of them goes off axis, okay, you'll either have a, a one with a five, three, two, or four, okay, or you'll have a Five, five, three, five, three, okay. Or you'll have a five, the same die would pitch the other way, would be a five, six, four, six, two, six, three, six. 
Never hit a seven if you can keep one die on axis with the other one going off. Now you would have to do some more research on which dies it tends to go off axis, but this would help with figuring out numbers to bet. Heavier than maybe some other numbers. Now your hard way set doesn't have to have a one and a six off on the off axis uh, portion. Because if you do that, you're going to have numbers come up with horn numbers. That might not be the numbers that you want to hit. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so the white die, we had one on, one off. That's a black. The black die. We had both on axes. Again, we have yet to throw out of what, 18 throws? Where one die is on, or I mean, both die are off. So, actually, I'm kind of liking this. More, more so because I can watch the flight and landing and not worry about what the numbers are that are hitting. It takes that out of the equation. Okay. So our white die, one on, one off. Our black die, one on, one off. That's 22 throws. Somewhere in there, I forgot to mark on my ca counter, but that's okay. Okay, here we go again. Dice are out. I like to make sure I get up over my dice as much as possible. So that my pendulum swing is straight. I'm not reaching out any further than necessary from my body. Ooh, that one was not good. One die left the other one, so I know I had my hand tilted. Okay, the white die, both die are on axis. Black die, both die are on axis. That's two green chips. Okay, white die, both die are on axis, left die, same thing, both die are on axis, two more greens.
dice are out. Okay, same thing again. White die, both die are on axis. Black die, both die are on axis. Two more green chips. Dice are out. Okay, again, the whites, both die are on axis, black, both die are on axis, two more greens. And when I'm setting the dice up, I always start, I have the heavy side on the table, facing the table. Dice are out, three. That one, one led the die, so I'm getting too much loft in it or something. Okay, so we're halfway through, or close to it. White die is one on, one off. Black die is both on. So we have a green chip and a black chip. say this is just an experiment because on Super Bowl Sunday I plan on going to my local casino and we're just going to test this some of this theory out and uh, I want to get some real good practice in with these lighter training aids Okay, white die, both are on axis. Now if you wanted to go one step further, you could say that we pitched once because the heavy side is on the side and on this one the heavy side is on the bottom. So we only had a single pitch on that one. On the black die we had one on, one off. So that's a one on, one off is a black, both sides on is a white. And I keep forgetting to 
punch my counter for on the um, on that second throw. Anyway, dice are out. I'm liking it. Gets me to thinking more on the mechanics. In my release. For the white die we have both on axis, which is a green. Black die both off axis, which is a red. Now this could either be, if you're using a hard way set, that could either be, the off axis could be a, a uh, seven or a horn number, depending upon how you have it set up. And also the same thing with uh, the, uh, both of them on axis. You don't know whether one of them might have double pitched, but that's what practice does. I, I will say one thing it's a little bit harder to reach the back wall with lighter dice. You really have to. Concentrate. Okay, so the white die, both are on axis again. Whoops. And we had a single pitch, so that would not be a, a seven using a hard way set. Black die. Both are on axis, and we had a single pitch on that also, because we have a stripe and a dot. Mm. are out. Okay, white dye. One on, one off. Black die, one on, one off. So that's two black chips. A little over halfway done. Dice are out. Okay, the white die. both on axis. That's a green chip, black die, both on axis. It's another green chip.
dice are out. Three, two, one. Hmm, well, no, not really. I just get so used to saying that. Concentrate. It's like one on, one off. One on, one off. I'm sorry, both on. I'm really looking forward to getting that laser to help establish a line to throw down and help with the landing zone a little bit easier for you folks to see. Anyway, the black die, both die were on axis. That's a green chip. White die, one on, one off, is a black chip. And the black die, we had my stripe is my heavy side. So that double pitched, and this one single pitched, so it would never be a seven using a hard way set. Dice are out. Okay, white die, both die are on axis, that's a green chip, would never be a seven because we, the black is on the bottom there, so that would have maintained, the other one was a single pitch, so it would never be a seven. Black die, both on axis, so that's another green chip. Let's see, where is my, that would have been a possibility of a hard way set, or a hard way, or a seven, because they landed with the same sides, or it could have twisted, very good likelihood that Dice are out. Okay, so we have both uh, on that one. Both are on axis with one of them double pitching for sure. The other set is one on, one off. So this would have been a seven for sure. Both on axis because on one die we're on the, using a hard way set would be one on the, uh, bottom and one on the top, that would have been a seven. Black die, one on, one off. But we still, both die on axis. Black die, one on, one off. Let's see where we are in our count. Twenty six and twenty two is uh, what forty eight. Looks like there was twenty there, twenty there, and we're going to start with 
the others over here. Okay. What did I say? 48? Get my counter back up to uh, correct amount. Okay. Dice are out. Hard way if we were using a hard way set. Okay. White die. Both are on axis. Green chip. Black die. One on, one off. Black chip. Dice are out. Both off axis on that one. Getting, trying to go too fast. One on, one off there. So white die, both off axis. That is a red chip. Black die, one on, one off. Is a black chip. Then I'm dropping dice like crazy. Eight. Where did the other ones go? Okay, dice are out. I know it's very boring for you folks to sit to go through, even if you can watch all of, go through the entire video. I'm just thinking that a training aid like this might be beneficial for you and I'm hoping that it will for me also. Dice are out. Okay, both are on axis. Both are on axis on that one too. So that's a green chip. If you notice, we have a single pitch on the stripe, single pitch on the other one. So technically could be a seven, but I don't think so. Um, the white die. It's also a green chip. We have a double pitch on this and a single pitch on that. Would never be a seven with a hard way set. So in my thinking, I don't know if I'm right or not, again, all you math geniuses are going to have to tell me on what is the expected percentage
Oh, I like that one. Of throwing on axis tosses Okay, so white die, both are on axis, and actually both are, would be a hard way because the heavy side of the dice are both on the bottom. So that's a green chip. Black die, we have both of them off axis. That is a red chip. Out of what? Uh, 56 throws, I've only thrown three tosses with them both off axis. You would think that it would be some, that would probably be about normal. One on, one off there. One on, one off there also. So we have two uh, black chips coming out. Again, the black die, one on, one off. White die, one on, one off. We're getting down to it. That's like uh, 58 out of 72, so we don't have that many more throws left. Dice are out. I will say one thing. These lighter dice does make me try to throw a little bit lower because they bounce a little bit more. Which is probably a good thing. Bad thing is that I have to throw a little bit harder to get it to the edge of the back wall. White die, we have both dice on axis. Black die, one on, one off, which is a black chip. Are out. Okay. White die, one on, one off, that's a black chip. Black die, both on, green chip. I, for the most part, I'm liking the way the dice are looking when they leave my hand. 
I'm going to have to try to maybe do something like uh, a uh, again a different camera angle using my phone or something that way I can slow down and do slow motion because my webcams won't let me do uh, different speeds I'm, I'm wondering if I can transfer them into QuickTime and do it that way, but that's something technical that I'll have to try to work on. Okay, the white die, both die are on axis. Black die, one on, one off. Black chip. Not much difference between the green and black chips piling up. You would think that it would be one would be higher than the other, but again, I don't know the percentages. And I'm not going to try to figure it out. Okay, white die, both die are on axis. So green chip, black die, both die are on axis. It's another green chip. This one rolled, sorry about that. Um, We're down to our last six throws, folks, so if you can hold on just a little bit longer, we'll get, have some numbers for you to do some comparisons and let me know. You guys try it and let me know what, how you do. Dicer out. White die. We have one on, one off. Well, that's a black chip. Black die. Both on axis. That's a green chip. So I'm showing 68 throws. That means we got four more to go. Let's see what we can do. It would really be nice to be able to get, get some more green chips out there. Okay, the white die, both are on axis. Black die, both on axis. Now we just got to figure whether we're double pitching on all those on axis throws. So that's two green chips. See the white die, the black is on the bottom or the black is on the side or the weighted portion of the die, so that would never be a seven. Um, well, it could be. No, it couldn't be. Because only a single pitch. Black die could be a seven, depending upon. How they uh, twisted.
Dice are out. Last two throws. One on, one off. One on, one off. So that's two black chips. Seventy-two throws is what I'm counting there. Let's see if it actually came out that way. There's twenty. Thirty-one. Twenty. Thirty-three. Something isn't right. 31 and 33 is 64. Hmm. There's 20, 25, 30, 31, 30, 50, 65, 60, 65, 66. 69, 72. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, so 38 and 31 is 69, 70, 72. Three tosses ended up with on uh, with uh, off axis. Both die off axis. 38 tosses. Both die on axis. 31 die, one die on, one die off. Hope uh, that gets you thinking. Let me know what uh, you come up with. Let, leave me a comment. But I do appreciate everybody being here. Sorry it's been so long. Just haven't had any um, energy to be doing much. And uh, the dice are lacking. But from here on out, I'm... For the next 10 days or so before Super Bowl Sunday, we're going to be doing more of this and trying to analyze it a little bit before I hit the casino. Appreciate everybody for being here. Till next time, everybody take care, stay safe, and God bless. I'll see you then.